Good morning, everyone. We are the group one, and we are going to present about the chapter one, which is about the nature, terms, and history of rhythmic dance. For the overview, this chapter is prepared for students to gain knowledge on the importance of rhythmic activities, the role it plays in the development of nationalism, and the preservation of our cultural heritage. It will help the students to improve self-expression through dance interpretation, creating, and performing simple movements. For our general objectives, at the end of this chapter, the students are expected to A. Learn and understand the terms used in this subject. Letter B. Discuss and explain the meaning of dance or rhythmic activities. And letter C. Show interest and appreciation through participation in the class activities. Lesson 1, which is the history of dance in the Philippines. First, the history of dance is difficult to access because dance does not often leave behind clearly identifiable artifacts. But dance has been an important part of ceremony, rituals, celebrations, and entertainment since before the birth of the earliest human civilizations. Historically, the majority of Philippine dances derive from popular European dances during the time of the Spanish regime. Example of European dances is Fandango sa Ilaw. And we have definition here. Rhythm means is a measured motion or flow characterized basically by recurrence of elements or features as beats, sound, and accents. Rhythms the note and aspects of the quality of movement which is sometimes thought as dance. Next is dancing. Dancing means expressing one's emotion through movement disciplined by rhythm. The word dancing originated from the German word danson which means to stretch. Next is dance. Dance is a series of movements set to music where their emerged organization is structure and pattern. Rhythmic activities Rhythmic movements using the body as means of expressing a communication. Next is the world history of dance in the different era. First, we have primitive era. It is a social dances on occasions that celebrated birth, commemorated death, and mark special events in between. It is a magical dances to ask gods and for mine to provide rain or to cure sick. These are not created for entertainment as many dances today. The next era is the history of ancient Egypt. It evolved from the simplest rituals used by the hunters to find their prey. A leader was called a priest dancer and was responsible for seeing that the dances were performed correctly so that the hunt would be successful. Next is the ancient Greece. For them, a participation in dance and drama was a religious exercise. Greek dance can be divided into large and small motions, movements, and gestures. Next is the Roman Empire. Under the reign of Caesar Augustus in about 22 before Christ, the pantomime dance drama became an independent form of artistic expression. The Roman pantomime, a highly developed art form that made lavish and creative use of dance. And lastly, we have Christian era. The dance was performed on cathedral porches, church squares, and marketplaces, miracle plays, mystery plays, and morality plays that thought the church's lessons were enacted in a theatrical way. Evolution Dance in the Philippines, the Primitive Era, and the Spanish Colonial Period Early Filipinos, dance was an expression of community life that animates the various rituals and ceremonies. They share common religious beliefs, generally animistic, and make propitiatory offerings to household gods called anitos. Ethnic dances are found among the ethno-linguistic groups, tribesmen dance, cordillera dance, and Muslim dance. Primitive dances will be classified into the following. Rituals sustain the spiritual and social life of the indigenous Filipinos. Life cycle dances are dances which celebrate an individual's birth, baptism, courtship, and wedding. Occupational dances are dances which transform defense and livelihood activities to celebratory performances. Mimetic dances are special dances which are mimetic in nature. The surrounding animal life also easily lends itself to imitative dances that are both graphic and symbolic. Dances like Pandango, Habanera, Rigodon, Mazorca, Pasho, Paso Doble were adapted to the taste and needs of day society and conditions of climate and season in a tropical archipelago. On December 10, 1898, in the Treaty of Paris, Spain sold Philippines to the United States for $20 million. The Americans established schools all over the islands where physical education was given a prominent place in the program. The American teachers also introduced dances like ballet and modern dance through physical education programs. These dances threatened to completely destroy the well-cherished Philippine tradition and culture. Today, Philippine dances are no longer communal in purpose but are highly theatricalized. There are even choreographed dances based on folk elements. 
As Filipinos, we have the responsibility to propagate and preserve Philippine folk dances for posterity. Folk dance A folk dance is a dance developed by people that reflect the life of the people of a certain country or region. Not all ethnic dances are folk dances. For example, ritual dances or dances of ritual origin are not considered to be folk dances. Ritual dances are usually called religious dances because of their purpose. The terms ethnic and traditional are used when it is required to emphasize the cultural roots of the dance. In this sense, nearly all folk dances are ethnic ones if some dances such as polka, cross, ethnic, boundaries and even cross the boundary between folk and ballroom dance, ethnic differences are often considerable enough to mention. Contributors to the Philippine folk dance you know, Ethnolinguistic groups are considered the culture bearers of dance traditions, passing them on from generation to generation. Their contribution popularized as well as revolutionized Filipino folk dance, elevating them into dance theater. These Filipinos have been conferred with the highest award for creative artistry here in the Philippines, the National Artist Award. Local dances in modern time are now performed and appreciated beyond their province of origin. Cesca Reyes Aquino is considered as the mother of Philippine folk dance. Born in Bacabi, Bulacan, she graduated in University of the Philippines with a degree in Bachelor's in Science Education. She presented four folk dances, Cariñosa, Abururay, Salabat, and Ariwana, as her dissertation, based of her Master's degree in Physical Education. She is also the author of numerous academic books for folk dances, including Philippine Folk, Philippine Folk Dances and Games, 1927, and uh, Philippine National Dances, 1946. Leonor Orosa Huginko is the second National Artist Awardee for Dance after Reyes Aquino. Born in Hulusulu, the young Orosa immersed in learning and training herself in artistic pursuits, especially in ballet. She graduates summa, summa cum laude with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Education major in English Literature at St. Scholastica's College. She went to Columbia University and Teachers College in New York where she took up courses in theater craft, drama, and music. A keen ballet dancer, she also took courses in professional and teaching training under the best teachers, including Francesca Reyes Aquino. Lucretia Reyes Urtola was born in Iloilo. Uh, she studied in Philippine Women's University where she finished her education major in physical education. Inspired by the works done by Francesca Reyes Aquino, she also taught in PWU where she pursued and continue her, continued her passion in Philippine folk dances, both as a researcher, dance director, and choreographer. Ramon Obusan, when you talk about dance, you just don't talk about dance. You talk music, costume, beliefs, traditions, purpose, and occupations. Dance is the brightest jewel in the crown of the national heritage, said by Ramon Arevalo Obusan the 2006 National Artist for Dance. The article entitled The Old Man Scholar in the official webpage of Ramon Ubusan Folkloric Foundation Incorporated or the ROFG encapsulate Ubusan's journey as a choreographer, artist, director, and a scholar of dance. Leonor Orosa Guhinko is a second National Artist Awardee for a dance after Rie Sakino. Born in Hulusulu, the young Orosa immersed in learning and training herself in artistic pursuit, especially in ballet. Before she was named as second national artist after Reyes Aquino, Leonor Arosa was known by many others' names, such as Trail Blazer, Mother of Philippine Theater Dance, and Dean of Filipino Performing Arts Critics. She graduated summa cum laude with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Education, major in English Literature at St. Scholastica's College. She also produced two ballet productions in same year, Circling the Globe and Dance Panorama, followed by another dance production, The Element, in 1940. She was married to Benjamin Kohenko. She played also the piano, draw art, design scenery and costumes, sculpt, act, directed, dance, and choreograph. Her pin name was Christina Luna. Some of her greatest works were Return to Native, In a Javanese Garden, Venta, P. 
Pilipinisticas, Philippine Life, Legend, and Lore, The Magic Garden, Noli Dance Suit. Lucretia Reyes Ortula, National Artist for Dance. Lucretia Faustina Reyes Ortula was a Filipino choreographer, theater director, teacher, author, and researcher on ethnic dance. She was the founding director of the Bayanihan Philippine National Fak Dance Company and was named National Artist of the Philippines for Dance in 1988. She was born on June 29, 1929 in Luila City. And here tours with a group. Reyes Ortola started choreographing not just stage but also film and television. Lucretia also served as artistic director for dance at the Folk Arts Theater, conceptualized and managed the Philippine Folk Dance Society, among others. She was awarded National Artist for Dance in 1988. When you talk about dance, you just don't talk about dance. You talk about music, costume, beliefs, traditions, purpose, and occupation. Dance is the brightest jewel in the crown of national heritage, said by Ramon Arrival Ubusan, 2006 National Artist for Dance. Ramon Arrival Ubusan, a music teacher, Filipino dancer, choreographer, stage designer, and artistic director, graduated at University of the Philippines with a degree in marine biology. But he exposed to the colorful village life in the rural Philippines, prompted him to study cultural anthropology, also in the University of the Philippines. Through the Ramon Obusan Folkloric Group, or ROFG, he has affected cultural and diplomatic exchanges utilizing the multivarious aspect and dimension of art of dance. Formation commonly used in rhythmic activities. First, single circle facing clockwise partner facing. Second, single circle. Third, single circle facing counterclockwise center. Fourth, single circle facing. Fifth, double circle, partners facing clockwise. Six, double circle, facing. Seven, double circle, partners facing quadral formation. Eight, square or. Nine, double lines, facing front facing. Ten, double lines, partners. Eleven, scatter formation in pairs formation. Twelve, several lines or long open. Lastly, semicircle or half moon. Lesson 2. Fundamental of Rhythm To better facilitate the learning of dances and other rhythmic activities, we should first understand the elements of rhythm, elements of movement space, and the qualities of movements. Objectives At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to familiarize the different sign and symbol of music, explain the elements of rhythm, Know the different notes, values, and counts. Execute the different basic dance steps in folk dance in different time signature. Participate in the class discussion. Elements of rhythm. Underlying beat or pulse beat. The underlying beat is the CD continuous sound that is heard or felt throughout any rhythmical sequence. The constant CD pulsation is called the pulse beat. It is the steady sound which serves as the constant measure upon which all rhythmic structure or relationship depends. The underlying beat determines the time, signature of, of a piece of music or movement. Second, measure. Refers to the identical groupings or underlying beat. Three, rhythmic pattern. This refers to a definite groupings or sounds or beats related to the underlying beat. It is also called the melody pattern because the rhythmic patterns follow the words or melody. 4. Phrasing A musical phrase is a group of measures that gives the feeling of unity. The end of a phrase may suggest a change in direction or movement. 5. Accent is the force or emphasis given to any one beat in a series of pulse beats in a measure. 6. Tempo This is the rate of speed of the movement, music, or accompaniment. 7. Intensity is the quality of movement or music. It refers to dynamic or force such as heavy or light. The sign and symbol of music. We have whole note, whole rest with 4 beats. Next is half note, half rest with 2 beats. Next is quarter note, quarter rest with 1 beat. Next is eighth note, eighth rest with 1 half beat. Next is sixteenth note, sixteenth rest with 1 fourth beat. These are the note pyramid. The whole note half notes, quarter notes, eight notes, and sixteen notes. Notes, value, and counts. The note value of 
number one is called quarter note and it counts one. The quarter note equals one beat. The dot is the half the value of the note, which is half of a beat. The note value of number two is two eight notes and it counts one end. One eight note is worth half a beat. So two eight notes equals one beat and make up one quarter note. The note value of number three is called simple duple matter. Simple duple matter. When the main beat of a matter is a note that can be divided into two equal parts, it is a simple matter. When a simple matter has two beats per measure, it is called a simple duple matter. The note value of number four is called whole note and it counts one, two, three, and four. The note value of number five is called half note and it counts one to two. The note value of number six is called two quarter note. Two fourth means there are two bits in each measure and a quarter note receives one count. The note value of number seven is called two half notes and it counts one to two, three to four. The note value of number eight is called dotted half note and it counts one, two, three. Lesson three, classifications of natural movement. The basic natural movement includes the action to move. An action is any human movement included in the actual dancing, like dance steps, facial movements, partner lifts, gestures, and even everyday movements like locomotor, such as walking, running, and hooping. The non-locomotor movements that can be seen every day are stretching, bending, and lifting. Dance is made up of streams of movements and poses, so action refers not only to step and sequences, but also to poses and moment of relative stillness. Objectives At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to a. Enumerate and explain the different natural movements and its examples. b. Participate in the class discussion. Locomotor movement Locomotor movements, skills are those in which the body is moved in one direction or a combination of directions from one point to another. Skills that are probably the most basic and important category of fundamental movement skills is the locomotor movements. Some example of locomotor movements first is walking, running, jumping, hopping, skipping, sliding, galloping, and lastly, leaping. The next classification is the non-locomotor movements. These are the movements that are also sometimes called actual movements. Why? Because they are the movements of certain body parts or even the whole body without causing the body to travel. In short, these movements are executed by staying still to a particular place. The following are some of the examples of non-locomotor movements that I believe all of us already know and sometimes do. The first one, we have the curve or bend. This is done by straightening or extending any part of the body from the joint. This helps to improve flexibility by stretching and opening the tight areas of the body. The second one is lift or raise. Lift means elevating the body or the arm, while raise is the part of the usually fore and legs. The third one is twisting or contort. This is moving parts of the body around a long axis, usually head and body. The next one is swing. The movements of body parts can be either pushed ahead and in reverse or side to side. The fifth one is turn or rotate. The movements of the body is around a vertical or even hub, full, half or quarter turns. In doing the said movements, these are the following steps. First, turn to clockwise direction and face right. Second, face at the right side. Third, face at the back. And the fourth one is face the audience again. The last one is arm circling. This is to move continuously from one point to another. You are extending your arms to the sides and throwing small circles in the air with your hands. Sensitive actions. Pushing. An effort to move an object, real or imaginary, in space away from the body against resistance. 2. Pulling. An effort to bring an object, real or imaginary, in space toward the body resistance. 3. Lifting. Change of body level or any part of the body or an object real or imaginary, from a lower to a higher level. Summary With its own unique tradition in dance, the Igorot tribes live in the mountains of Luzon, 
A handful of these tribes still reside in the mountains, having successfully resisted Spanish colonization. Many of the dances have been handed down through the generations. Nowadays, there are many Filipinos that depend on folk dance. They want to return the traditional heritage of our ancestor. Folk dance is one of the most important things in our traditional because it helped the traditional way to improve and promote the country. The development of folk dance helped a lot to enhance the characteristics of our culture and our difference from other countries since it projects the true Filipino in us. Equipped knowledge on the classification of natural movement provides direction to the students and to help students understand that everything they do in their daily routine is an example of basic movements.